Dion Mack, El Paso's new city manager, sitting down with KTSM today to share her vision for the city. Thanks for choosing KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Andy Morgan. Monica has the night off. Now in an exclusive interview with KTSM, Mack discussing her new role, which she officially started on Tuesday, and her plans to address key issues like public safety and economic growth. KTSM 9 News reporter Oriana Botero sat down with Mack to talk about some of those goals. Oriana files this report. Andy, Dion Mack has only been in office for a few days, but she's already focused on big goals, talking about working closely with city council and tackling issues that matter to El Pasoans. What I heard clearly from the community when I went out was that they absolutely love the city, they appreciate the large projects, but they want the day-to-day -day operations. I want the weeds cleaned up, I want the trash cleaned, I want my streets striped. Dion Mack talked about upcoming challenges and how she's excited to work with city council, focusing on priorities set back in February. She also explained how the city will handle projects funded by bonds, including improvements to public safety and streets, while also keeping El Paso financially stable. We're really working on how those can be timed by looking at what we can actually get done within a time frame, being very thoughtful about making sure we're only issuing the amount of debt that we need for the projects that we have on hand and that helps us not to have you know as long-term interest and some of these other things that would be associated with that. Mac has been serving El Paso for 14 years and she says she's in it for the long run. She will now be paid a base salary of $350,000 a year choosing to not keep some of the benefits that her predecessor Tommy Gonzalez had in his contract. The whole time I've ever worked for the city I just wanted to get my salary and it's the same wish for our staff is we just want to be at our comparative wages. So we look at seven cities and we look at an average and we do a formula for that. And so when I came into this, that was my goal. Mac also has a plan to address employee morale, which had been flagged as a concern during the hiring process due to lingering effects from the COVID-19 pandemic, vacancies and uncertainty about the city's leadership. Make sure that we're not losing quality, bench strength, institutional history, you know, because of a, a do, another dollar or a dollar fifty. I really want to make sure that that is a competitive process in terms of how we move forward. Overall, some of the key priorities that MAC will be focusing on include improving city services, budget and debt management, employee morale and public transit. Andy, back to you.